Sowing the World with Truth November 6th In Heavenly Places Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Matthew chapter 28 verses 19, 20 Christ's last act before leaving the earth was to commission his ambassadors to go to the world with his truth. His last words were spoken to impress the disciples with the thought that they held and trust the message of heaven for the world. If we but realized how earnestly Jesus worked to sow the world with the gospel seed, we, living at the very close of probation, would labor untiringly to give the bread of life to perishing souls. God calls upon every church member to enter his service. Truth that is not lived, that is not imparted to others, loses its life-giving power, its healing virtue. Everyone must learn to work and to stand in his lot in place as a burden bearer. Every addition to the church should be one more agency for the carrying on of the great plan of redemption. The entire church, acting as one, blending in perfect union, is to be a living, active, missionary agency. The Review and Herald, April 29, 1909. It is a law of heaven that as we receive we are to impart. The Christian is to be a benefit to others, thus he himself is benefited. He that watereth shall be watered also himself. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 25. This is not merely a promise. It is a law of God's divine administration, a law by which he designs that the streams of beneficence shall be kept, like the waters of the great deep, in constant circulation, perpetually flowing back to their source. In the fulfilling of this law is the power of Christian missions. We have only a little longer time in which to prepare for eternity. The whole body of believers needs to be vitalized by the Holy Spirit of God. We should study, plan, economize, and set in operation every means possible whereby we may reach and bless suffering and ignorant humanity. The light which God has given to us as a people is not given that we may treasure it among ourselves. We are to act in harmony with the great commission given to every disciple of Christ to carry to all the world the light of truth. The Review and Herald, August 12, 1909. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the great commission you entrusted to us, calling us to teach all nations and share the truth of your gospel. Help us to grasp the urgency of this mission, understanding that we are your ambassadors in a world in desperate need of your love and truth. Lord, ignite a passion within us to sow the seeds of the gospel diligently. May we follow the example of Jesus, who worked tirelessly to bring the bread of life to those who are perishing. Let us be active participants in the great plan of redemption, using our unique gifts to serve others and spread your message. Teach us to live out the truth in our daily lives, so that our words and actions may reflect your character. Help us to remember that as we share your love, we too are enriched by the act of giving. Let the streams of your blessings flow through us, benefiting those around us while drawing us closer to you. We recognize the time is short, and we ask for your Holy Spirit to vitalize our hearts and our church. Guide us in studying, planning, and implementing ways to reach those who suffer and are unaware of your grace. May we work in harmony to carry the light of truth to every corner of the world. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.